Hello, hello everyone. Welcome today to another discussion about the 2021 summer season of anime. So, today we'll be talking about the drugstore in another world, also known as the cheat pharmacist's slow life, making a drugstore in another world. Bit of a mouthful. Anyway, this one is quite simple and straightforward. It's an isekai that is about a guy making a drugstore in another world. Uh, basically, I would call it uh, a slice of life, an isekai slice of life, which I feel like I've said a lot recently with the last couple of seasons. It seems like there's been a lot of them where uh, people go to like another world and they don't really go in like action stuff. They just kind of you know, exist and have their day-to-day -day lives um, and that kind of stuff. And in this particular one, it's no different. Essentially, the loop of the episodes is uh, a customer comes in with a problem that they have and Reiji, the pharmacist from another world, he creates a medicine for them to solve the problem. And then, you know, next episode, same thing happens. Actually, it's like, he helps multiple people in each episode. Um, there's not really like a story that's behind it or anything. Uh, there's no like plot line to follow. It's, it's literally just him creating medicine in this other world to fix problems. He creates things like beauty cream, like energy drinks, like uh, um, uh, polish to like shine armor and stuff like that. Just a variety of different things um, he creates to, you know, help people. He also creates like healing items, medicines that actually do medicine stuff, you know, not just uh, like polish, but uh, he does a variety of things. And that's really all that there is to this show. It's not a very in-depth show. It's just, you know, something to chill and watch and witness. Uh, essentially, he builds a harem somehow from helping a bunch of women out. So like that, as most of the people in the show are, women, uh, but he helps some guys out too and stuff like that and all that good jazz. There's never really like any like harem elements, like there's no like uh, classic etchy stuff happening in the show where like panty shots are occurring or anything like that, but it's like they blush a little bit and like obviously show their feelings with Reiji is like oblivious to as usual. Um, but there's never like any actual romance stuff going on for the most part. Um, it's just all about the characters having their own lives. And essentially, they come back to the drugstore every once in a while to get some, you know, medicine to help them with certain things. There are reoccurring characters throughout the thing, so it's not just like one character shows up and then they're gone forever. Uh, some show up and then leave forever. That is a thing. Uh, but for the most part, they, they are recurring characters. Uh, some of them stick around a lot longer than I feel like they should. There are some characters that I'm annoyed with that I do not like. The Demon King being one of them. Uh, he's just kind of annoying. But anyway, that's really all there is to say about it. I, I can't really say much more because there's not more. There's not much content in this show. It's literally as I said. The guy gets reincarnated. Not reincarnated. He gets like sent to another world. He makes a drugstore, and he makes medicine for people as their problems come up. And uh, enjoys his slow life, as uh, is it said. So, that's really all there is to it, everyone. So, if that sounds like something up your alley, feel free to watch it. It's complete now, and it does not seem like there's going to be another season, because they ended it uh, very, like, this is a one-series kind of thing, you know. Uh, but, yeah. It's uh, it's okay. Definitely something I'm not going to rewatch, but it was okay on the journey. That's all there is to that. So check it out if you want. That's going to be it for me on this one, everyone. Thank you all for listening, and you all have a lovely time. Bye for now.